Once I've got my seam in my fabric, it's at this point that I'm going to stop and figure my pleats and spaces. If you have one width of fabric, I have done a downloadable form where you can figure out your pleats and spaces for one width of fabric. If you have more than one width, like I do here, we need to figure our pleats and spaces a little bit differently because we have a seam. Let me show you on our drapery panel why it's so important to figure out where the pleats and spaces need to go when you have a seam in your fabric. As you can see on our panel, here is our seam right here. And it falls right at the back of this pleat. And that is a really good spot for it to fall. When the panel is open, you actually won't see the seam at all. You don't want the seam to fall on the front of the pleat because it'll be very obvious. So that's why we want to make sure when we figure our pleats and spaces that we get this figured right for the seam. When you're figuring your pleats and spaces for your drapery panels, there are some averages that you need to keep in mind. Usually a pleat size is five to six inches and its base size is usually on average three to four inches. You'll have five pleats in one width of fabric and in a half width of fabric you'll have two pleats. Next we need to measure the amount of fabric we have in our full width and in our half width. And before I measure our full width I am going to go ahead and cut off the selvage. You can leave it on if you want to but I'm going to go ahead and cut that off before I get my measurement. We're going to start by measuring the full width of fabric from the seam to the edge, and we've got 55 inches. Then I'm going to measure from the seam over to the edge of the half width, and we've got 27 inches. Now, I'm not going to cut anything off of this edge right now, but I probably will end up cutting off four to five inches. And the reason that I'm going to need to do that is when you have a half width and you only want two pleats, if you don't cut a little bit off the edge, the pleats are going to be much larger than the pleats on your full width. If we try and do three pleats instead of two, our pleats are going to be a lot smaller than on our full width. So in the next step, I'll show you how to figure the pleats and spaces when you have a seam, and I'll show you how I figure how much to cut off. Next, I'm going to show you how to figure your pleats and spaces when you have a seam or more than one seam in your drapery panel. You always want the seam to go at the junction of the pleat and the space. Normally, you would have five pleats for a whole width of fabric and two pleats for a half width. I like to draw out my drapery panel so that I can see exactly where my pleats and spaces, my overlaps and returns are. So I've drawn out the one and a half widths for my panel. This is the one width and then this one is the half width. When you do your drapery panels, you might have three widths. So you would want to draw out three whole widths. So you just need to draw out what you need for your drapery panel. If you just have one with the fabric, then you don't need to use this form. I've provided another form for figuring your pleats and spaces with one with the fabric. One thing you want to keep in mind is that there's always one less space than pleats. So I have five pleats in width A and I have two pleats in width B so I have seven pleats but I only have six spaces one two three four five six and you can see here that this pleat is right next to our seam which is exactly what we want to help hide that seam in your drapery panel. The first thing you're going to do is figure the measurement of width A. I measured our drapery panel on the table and 
it measured 55 inches for width A. So I went from the seam to the outer edge of the fabric. I need to take 3 inches off of that measurement for my side hem. And so the measurement of width A is going to be 52 inches for our example. I'm also going to um, figure the measurement of width B. When I measured width B from the seam to the outer edge of the fabric, I measured 27.5. I need to take out 3 inches and then I come up with 24.5 inches. But if you remember, I said that I'm probably going to cut off 4 to 5 inches. If I don't, these two pleats are going to be very large. In fact, I figured it out, and if I don't cut off four and a half inches, these pleats are going to be eight inches, and these pleats are only six inches, or almost six inches. So I just picked a figure of four and a half. You'll have to kind of play with your figures to see what you want to cut off. So this 24.5, I need to subtract four and a half inches. And that's where I came up with this figure of 20 inches for measurement B down here. Before we figure our plates and spaces, we need, first we'll need to figure our space size. So I like to do that up in here, and it's the finish width of, of our panel minus the overlap minus the return, and then that figure we divide by the number of spaces to get our space size. So we know we want a finish width of 30 inches. My overlap here is 3 inches, and my return, which is over here, is 4 inches. That equals 23 inches, and I'm going to divide that by 6 spaces. So each of my space sizes is going to be 3.83, or 3 and 7 eighths. Next, I'm going to work just on this whole width with A. I'm going to take the space size that we just figured up here, 3.83, and multiply it by the number of spaces. We know in with A, we have five spaces. That's going to give me the total inches needed from with A for the spaces, 19.15. And I'll use this figure later on down here. We're going to take the measurement of with A, 52 inches, that's what we came up with up here, minus our overlap, 3 inches. That equals the inches that we need have for pleats and spaces, 49 inches. We're going to, to subtract the inches needed for with A for the spaces. And that's that was this 19.15 inches. And when we subtract that, this is the inches left in with A for the pleats, 29.5. We divide that by the number of pleats in with A, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and that equals 5.9 inches or 5 and 7 eighths inches are, is our pleat size just for with A. So for with A, we have five pleats at five and seven eighths inches. We also have five spaces at three and seven eighths inches. Next, we're going to work just on with B. We're going to take our space size that we got over here, 3.83, and multiply it by the number of spaces in with B. We only have one space. So the inches we need from with B for spaces is 3.83. We're going to take the measurement of with B, 20 inches, and we got that by subtracting another four and a half inches off of this width. We're going to subtract the return of four inches, and that equals the inches that we need for pleats and spaces for width B, 16 inches. We're going to subtract the uh, inches needed for the spaces, which is 3.83. We got that figure right here. And that equals 12.17. That's the inches left from with B for the pleats that we can use for the pleats. We're going to divide the 12.17 by the number of pleats in B, two pleats, one, two. 
and that equals a pleat size for width B of 6.08. And I'm just going to round down to 6 inches. So we know we have two pleats in width B, and they're going to be 6 inches each. We have one space in width B, and it's going to be 3 and 7 eighths, just like our other spaces. So that is how you figure your pleats and spaces when you have a seam that you want the edge of the pleat to be at the seam. Now that we've figured our pleats and spaces, I like to make a pattern that I can use on my drapery panels to figure the pleats and spaces. So I've made this pattern out of a piece of buckram, but you could use cut up paper bags or scraps of wrapping paper. I've made the length of it 72 inches because that's the amount of fabric that we have to work with for our pleats and spaces. On this end, I've marked our overlap, which is three inches, and I've marked that this is width A. I marked out that our pleats on this full width ended up being five and five eighths inches. So I made a mark and then I made another mark for three and seven eighths for our spaces, five and five eighths for the pleat, three and seven eighths, all the way along this full width of the fabric. So we're going to end up with a pleat, five pleats, and then a space. And our, you can see where the seam is going to be, right where we want it, at the back of a pleat. Now in this with B, which is our half width, I've marked the return, which is four inches. And then these pleats are six inches. They're just a little bit different than the other width, like we figured out, but our space is the same. The spaces are always going to be the same width, three and seven eighths. And then the last pleat, again, six inches. So now I can use this pattern really easily to mark the pleats and spaces for each of the drapery panels.